Hey guys, and today Shorty and I are going to have a bit of a chat about the cat setup, mate, and particularly up forward. So, had a bit of a review on the uh, JLT community game. I was nearly going to say NAB Challenge, but uh, yeah. the Cats and the Hawks game, which sort of brought attention to Geelong's forward setup. Who's going to be there? What should it look like? How's it going to work best? So, um, yeah, we'll have a bit of a chat about that one today, Marty. So, we've got Hawkins. He's going to be there, we know. Now, do the Cats go with Black, or do they go with Taylor, or do they go with both? What do you reckon, if you want to delve, yeah. into, some, delve into some thoughts on that one? It'll be interesting, won't it? I mean, I suppose, firstly, Taylor, you take your, hopefully, our best defender from where he's been in All-Australian, and you move him forward, which I suppose is a little bit, not desperate, but probably enlightens us to the fact that we certainly need to do something. Yeah, you know, we, yeah. We certainly have to try something, and even if Taylor's impact isn't enormous, just to draw attention away from Hawkins, which might not always be Taylor's playing ability, but just the fact that he is Harry Taylor and, mm. and he's capable. Um, and I suppose he's shown signs in attack, but more so swinging forward. I think it's a different story to line up and attack week after week after week, Yeah, particularly when sides prepare for you to be there. Mm. I think most of his success has probably been when he's gone there for a half or, or maybe surprised an opposition a little bit. But now it's well known that teams will plan for him being in attack. Mm. It's a very different story, um, reading the play and from the back line and swinging in and, and gliding in to take that mark. Different yeah, story, right. leading up and having men like Taylor, drop back on yourself. <laughs> so yeah. it'll certainly be a different challenge for him. I'm, people are talking, oh, could he be a 40-50 goal player? I don't know if he'd be that effective, but I think we could hope for around 30 goals and just a, another target, another option. I think mm. we'll probably see Taylor maybe kick four one week and then go missing the next, and um, that could be something. But I think it's certainly worth a roll of the dice. Aaron Black. A uh, bit shorter, isn't he? Sort of that more mobile guy. What is he, about 192 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, thereabouts, yeah. There. I mean, your prototype would be a Jack Gunston, I suppose. You know, he's a, a third tall sort of type. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think if he could get anywhere near Gunston, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but we know he certainly is a similarly accurate kick, but yeah. which he showed against the Hawks. So I think probably Taylor, we know what we'll get, more or less. Mm. where Black is a bit of a wild card. I think he's got potential. He's had great seasons at North Melbourne, but equally he's had some poor seasons, which haven't always been injury interrupted. He, yeah. I mean, he probably fell behind the eight ball because of injury, but I suppose he has been out of favour as well, hence he's at the Cats. So mm. I think there's a position there for him. Um, and That's I like what he him. produced on, uh, what was it, Friday night. Friday, yeah. I like that. Uh, can you play all of them? I think you probably could, but Black would certainly have to get a pretty big in engine happening, yeah. work up the ground a fair bit more and, and show that sort of ability. Sure. Whether he has it or not, we'll see. But uh, certainly good to have options. But uh, I know you're a big fan of Aaron Black. What do you reckon and how do you feel they'll all mix and gel together? Do you think it's a good move throwing out key defender forward? Where do you sort of sit on that one? Ooh, Tiz? that's an interesting one, mate. Nearly on the fence, but... Yeah, uh... <laughs> get off the fence, mate. Give us a call. <laughs> I'll give you a call. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Black was great on Friday night. Um, that's as far as we know. Um, so, like the share market or the stock, the stock market, we only can judge on past results uh, yeah. and doesn't necessarily guarantee future results like past results. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an ad I've heard. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, mate. Uh, so... Look, yeah, I really love the way Black went about it Friday night. Um, yeah, he's had a good season at Northling as 2013 where he really sort of uh, shone for the for the ruse then. But, um, look, he'll have, he'll have his work cut out for sure. Um, he's got a lot, lot of improvement to do. He's got to work on his engine, as you said. Um, he's also yeah, got to work on his discipline and his ability to um, impact contests and work hard. I think that was maybe a bit of a knock on him. He just didn't quite work hard enough at North up forward. So... That'll be something for him to do. Um, I really like him as a second target. I'll have a bit of a chat about Harry Taylor, though. Like, you're spot on. He, he's a great... I'm not just saying to agree with you. I'm just saying out of what I think. I, I think yeah. he's a great pinch hitter, but not a great forward. Yeah. And obviously, I hope he proves me wrong. But 
Yeah, Harry's probably, as you as you'd expect, if he's not expected to be there or he, he's thrown up forward, he can generally produce some, something pretty good because it's almost not expected of him. So mm. you almost take the pressure off yourself, whereas if you yeah. line up there, it's a, it's another story and you've got to reverse engineer the way you play. Yeah. Um, as you said, there's a difference between going back, taking the intercept mark versus trying to generate a contested mark in a contest or... Um, get some scores on the board. But uh, mm. Harry's, as you said, he's very capable and certainly, you know, can kick a few. He kicked six against the Giants in um, their in their first year and kicked five against the Dogs, I think, the year after that. So, mm. and he can kick, you know, one or two here and there. But, um, look, I, I like the idea and I, I want him to be a great forward. But I'm going to say I, I, I think he's better down back, obviously, um, better suited. I'm happy to persist with Hawkins and Black um, over having... Taylor in the forward line mm. or having all three of them in there. So I'll go Hawkins and then Black as your secondary. And then one week Black will kick four, Hawkins will kick one, and then it'll just sort of reverse each way. Um, mm. That's just sort of how it goes. Like Hawkins won't kick a bag every week, Black won't kick a bag every week. Yeah. If that isn't working, then you probably put Taylor up forward. Yeah. That's probably when you would sort of contemplate that. Don't even think about Henderson. He's a good yeah, defender. I was going to say. Uh, if you wanted to bring him into the story. So, yeah. yeah, look, go with Hawkins and Black. See how that goes. If both of them can't do anything, chuck Taylor up there, put Black back. I don't, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd go with something like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't see Harry as a great uh, forward option because I just saw him on Friday night. just didn't really look at home and just sort yeah. of gets a little bit, not manhandled, but... Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit lost up forward. So, yeah. I mean, those are my thoughts. I'll go Hawkins Black, and you can chuck sort of Harry when you sort of need him or even persist with all three if you're not too sure. Yeah, yeah, no, as you said, certainly if we're picking defenders to go forward, it's definitely Taylor before Henderson. And, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good point. I mean, wherever you play, it's a bit of an art form, isn't it? And certainly, is Harry Taylor a good mark? Yes. but Great it's, mark. It's an art to taking a mark in the back line and taking a mark in the forward line. <laughs> yeah, boy. You know, they're different patterns and it's mm. a totally different ball game. So 100%. it'll be interesting to see. I feel if Black does continue to play the sort of what he did Friday night, then Taylor would probably go back. But almost Taylor, a little bit of insurance in case the Aaron yeah. Black recruit doesn't come on as quick as they may have thought because they've yeah. certainly identified that they need a second tall forward. And I reckon they're planning for that as well, which is yeah, it can interesting little um, mm. bit of psychology there. But we'd have plans in place, I yeah. suppose. You yeah. got you got to have yeah contingency plans. Obviously, <coughs> you only got one extra, and you got probably a few defenders to choose from. So yeah, yeah, yeah uh, those are some thoughts from Shorty and myself on uh, the Cats and their forward setup. Should they go black? Should they go Taylor? Should they go both? What do you reckon? Go probably black and see what happens from there and yeah. sort of uh, address accordingly. Yeah, um, so feel free to comment whatever you think the catch should do with this forward setup and what will work best for them and why you think that's the case. Uh, for a bit of discussion, that'll be good. Uh, don't forget to vi give, uh, give the video a like, that'd be awesome, and subscribe for more content, that'd be great as well. Beautiful, mate. Nicely yeah. summed up today. Yeah, thanks for joining me, mate. Thanks, mate. All right. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you on the next video.